Hello beautiful people. Today we will be talking about if a scary asteroid will actually strike Earth, here's how we'll know. It will a national emergency event. This story, originally published in June 2021, has been republished, as part of Mashable Space Rocks series. On April 13, 2029, which happens, to be Friday the 13th, something unsettling will happen. A decent-sized asteroid, the 1,100-foot-wide Apophis, will pass so close to Earth, it'll be visible in the sky, from certain places. Crucially, the giant rock, will not strike our humble planet. But it will pass closer, than 20,000 miles from the surface. Which is closer, than where some of the United States, most prized weather satellites orbit. Likes to incessantly warn, of incoming threats with misleading headlines, like asteroid heading our way, day before presidential election, should you be worried, about the potentially hazardous asteroid passing by Earth today? And massive asteroid, will swing by Earth after Valentine's Day. These stories, aren't about real danger, many of the objects pass, millions of miles away. Rather, the stories are about, sensationalism. Mashable spoke with, NASA's planetary defense officer, Lindley Johnson, who understands, perhaps better than anyone, on the planet, what will happen when a big one comes. If a serious threat, to either a region on Earth, a large swathe of Earth, or perhaps the entirety of Earth, is truly on its way, and astronomers know about it, so will you. NASA created, its Planetary Defense Coordination Office, in early 2016, with a mission to provide, timely and accurate information to the government, the media, and the public, on close approaches to Earth, by potentially hazardous objects, PHOs, and any potential for impact. Though sensationalist media stories, about incoming asteroids are many, NASA hasn't ever, sounded the alarm about a dangerous asteroid, bound to impact Earth, or a very worrisome approach. We have never actually issued a warning, said Johnson. But they have informed, the public about what some asteroids, of interest are doing, yet this planetary defense office, exists because, at some point, a significant impact is inevitable, unless we build technologies, to successfully deflect threatening objects. On June 30, 1908, an asteroid, some 120 feet, 37 meters, wide entered the atmosphere and then blew up over forested Siberia. Called the Tunguska event, the resulting shockwave, mowed down trees. People 20 miles away, were timely executed. 40 miles away, the blast threw a man from his chair. The warnings. There are generally, two types of warnings, notification of a very close encounter, and notification of a potential impact. For either of these, you'll know they're legitimate, because NASA has actually said, something about it, said Johnson. 1. Close encounter. A close encounter, means a space rock, isn't going to strike Earth, but NASA thinks, it's still deserving of the public's attention, explained Johnson. It could be as small as, a 30-foot, 10-meter, rock, or it could be something, bigger like Apophis. Other people might spot, the close encounter of the rock, as all known NEO trajectories, are posted online, and then announce or publish news, of the unsettling flyby earlier than NASA. But that's okay. The agency will take at least a few hours, to verify such results. Our goal is not to be the first, to announce something, but to be the ones, that provide the best information available, explained Johnson. 2. Potential Impact If NASA detects, a possible impact, something larger, than around 30 feet, across, 10 meters, with a greater than 1% chance, of hitting Earth, things get serious. Johnson's office, will give warning notifications to NASA, to provide the White House, Congress, and government agencies. Public warnings won't simply, be in the form of, a NASA press release, tweeted out and posted online. At that point the White House, takes the lead on new information being released, said Johnson. FEMA would have to prepare, for a disaster if an impact on U.S. soil were likely. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet you in the next one till then goodbye.